Hey, welcome guys, it's Daryl, and today I'm gonna give you a quick overview about the website called Flippa.com. Now, if you've never heard of Flippa.com, it's basically a marketplace where you can buy and sell websites, you can buy and sell domains, and also buy and sell apps. It's basically has the concept of sort of buying a website and flipping it. That's the concept of the website. But let me give you a quick overview of the website because I have a lot of good things to say about it and I have a lot of bad things to say about it. Now right here, we have these uh, th this tab right here. So we have established sites. These are sites that are basically already making money. They already receive visitors and it's already has some domain authority. So a lot of these sites, they put a lot of marketing into it and they've decided to sell some of these websites. But a lot of these websites are really overpriced and they're very expensive. So when you're on this website, just be mindful. You know, don't go out and start buying all these websites. You know, uh, I would start probably on the starter sites. In fact, the starter sites is one of my most favorite. Now, this is a section where people actually created websites and they just want to sell them. So maybe you yourself can just, you know, design a website and maybe just try to sell it on this website because people over here are bidding on it and they also bid on the name. They bid on, um, you know, how much money these people are making from it. A lot of them have no reserve. So basically, um, the website will be sold uh, at any price. You know, there's no reserve. So um, also, they have Editor's Choice, which are more of the advertised ones. And they have the most active. So this shows auctions of websites that currently have the most bids on them. So right here, oh, top 10. It says it's a two-year-old content site. It's making around $67 from AdSense. Um, so a lot of these are pretty cool to check out. And also ending soon, which is pretty cool because maybe you can snipe one at the last second, you know. Uh, so if you're into like uh, payday loans or, you know, SEO or tattoo art, uh, this is a good site to check out. Now, the reason why I think it's a good uh, idea to buy some of these is because a lot of these people have actually put in a lot of marketing and a lot of domain authority. And that's really what people are after here. They're really after the SEO. A lot of people don't really care about you know uh, the money they claim they're making but if you got a website that's a few years old and they've put in maybe six or seven months of SEO work into it it might be worth to buy for a few hundred dollars because you're gonna save a lot of time right now let me give you a lot of the um, a lot of the negatives about this site now the established sites you have to be very careful because remember people can buy traffic people can actually purchase stuff on their own website so it might look if I click on one of these it might look like this website is receiving you know, a good amount of page views, it's receiving a lot of net profit, but remember, we don't really know if this person is buying on their own site and purchasing traffic, so just be mindful, and there's a lot of ways you can check this out. Now, it's a new seller. Now, I, I'm very skeptical of new sellers. If they sell anything over you know, a, a few grand, I'm just not gonna even look at it, and you can look at the comments section right here, see what people say about it, you know, the people talk about it, um, you know, asking about copyrights or uh, whatever you're interested in. You can always email the seller and just talk to them directly to find out more information. But looking at it, you know, this domain is pretty old. Um, you know, it probably has a lot of work and it's actually ranked in SEO Moz. And the traffic, don't really pay attention to the traffic because you can check these websites traffic yourself. So for example, I was talking to another friend of mine and we believe that this website right here is a complete scam. So. This right, this right here, they're claiming that it receives around 74,000 visits, making $80 a month, and the website's been around for only 10 months. Now, I'm not calling it a scam, but it just looks like a scam. So for example, uh, first off, this guy's selling this brand new site for way too much, and if you, it's, if you click on the bids up here, you're gonna see all the bidders are brand new. Maybe these are his friends. Why would somebody bid from $110 to $550? We don't really know yet. But let's do a little bit more research to find out. So you can scroll down right here, and this is his traffic. So the site was made in November. You know, two months later, it receives around 224,000 page views. Is that possible? I don't really think so, and I really doubt it. You know, I don't really think this guy's getting the page views he is, because remember, you can buy traffic to your website to make it look like, uh, you know, you're receiving traffic. And if you go down right here and you take a look at the page views of direct, you're gonna see that 167,000 of those are from direct. Now the organic search, only around 3,000. So maybe this person hasn't really done a lot of SEO work, maybe the site really isn't good, but I decided to run a search on it in um, a website called SimilarWeb. And SimilarWeb is a website where you can sort of track the website's visits, you can track the website's information. And by looking at it, the website seems very consistent, you know, it raised 120,000 views, 95,000. It almost looks too consistent, you know. Um, 
I, I really wouldn't trust it, but this is what I found that was very interesting. His traffic sources, 50% of it comes from a direct source. That means somebody must click on a link somewhere and go to that website. Now the organic search, he's getting less than 1%. So that being said, I don't trust this site anymore. I think there's something going on. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, I think they're, you know, I don't really know, but if the organic search is claiming only around 0.33%, uh, I don't really think that's true, you know? I think it's more of a, a scam. Maybe this guy's just trying to make money. Now, there's also other websites, like this one right here. Now, this one right here, uh, this guy is claiming that uh, this website is, uh, it's a starter site, and, um, you know, he wants to sell it for around $800. So let's check it out a little bit. Let's see what's going on. So right here, he's claiming that he's receiving $632 revenue from it, $272 profit, but he only wants to sell for 800. You know, that doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion, right? And the seller is uh, somewhat new. He only has one sale before. But an interesting thing is that um, I wanna check out his web traffic. And if we scroll down right here, looks like we don't have any web traffic. So let's check out this guy's web traffic. Now I've already run a search on him. And right away, I would say scam because just take a look at this traffic. How do you go from zero to zero to just 2,000, and it's a perfect number of 2,000. So right off the back, uh, I'm gonna say this is a very shady website. I don't really trust it. But remember, you're kind of after, in fact, look at the organic search, 0%. That means nobody has found his website on Google. Now, not to say that everybody out there doesn't, you know, they're not, a, <laughs> it's not a website full of scammers, but there are some things to pay attention to. Also, this is a great one, hostgatorhosting.net. Now, this is a website one month old, and people are actually taking a look at it. The seller's brand new. So right away, when you see brand new sellers, uh, that would raise a big flag. And he's claiming you can make $3,000 a month from hosting from HostGator affiliate uh, commissions. But there is one important factor that this guy is not telling you. And in fact, I actually found a comment that the guy actually called out the seller. There's kind of drama on here. This guy said, do you have permission from HostGator to use their trademark in your domain? I know they removed affiliates from their program because of this before, and that is true. You cannot compete with HostGator. So if you have HostGator in your name, or if you're doing a pay-per-click campaign and you bid against HostGator, guess what? They will ban you from their affiliate program. So this right here is not a good purchase. So going back over here to check out some of these other websites, some of these um, these starter websites, there are some good there are some good to it. You know, there's a lot of websites where people don't know what they're doing. They don't know the niche. They're just maybe creating a website. But if you see a website that you think is profitable in your niche, do a search on it. Go to similarweb.com right here. And uh, here, I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, you know do a search right there. And you can enter in any website and it'll give you statistics about the traffic. It'll give you statistics about um, you know the backlinks. Actually, no, PageRank will. So you can actually go to page, page, checkpagerank.net. And there you can enter in the domain and you can get a little bit more information about the, the domain authority. So this guy right here, like I said, the EZD.net, he has uh, 90,000 backlinks. And that just kind of sounds a little shady. I don't really know because if he's claiming he has 90,000 backlinks, why is he only receiving 0.33% organic search, right? So these are the things you kind of have to think about when you're, um, when you're purchasing. But I've actually bought some really cool stuff from here. I bought some domains called WooCommerce Websites. I bought it for 20 bucks. And that's a pretty cool domain, WooCommerce Website, right? So a lot of these other domains or these other... Um, these active runs right here. I like to kind of check a look at these because people are probably already doing research on these ones, you know, and if they have this many bids on them, the odds are they're probably good websites. So you can easily buy a website and maybe flip it, add on some new content, you know, do some marketing and make money on it. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of affiliate marketing. So if you have something that you're uh, familiar with, like let's say for example, makeup, we can go over here and type in makeup. And right here, you guys get a lot of these other websites right here, like uh, makeuptotal.com, $67. And even if the website is new, you know, if they put a lot of work into making the website, why not buy it? You know, it's $67, you know, to make a website like this right here, this looks like pretty good. You know, this website does look pretty good. Um, it doesn't have a lot of uh, marketing to it, but let's just say your client just wants a makeup website, you know, a blog about it. This would be an ideal selection, right? For $67, maybe you can sell it to them for 500. You know, so um, these are some things to think about when you're on this website. 
Uh, it says right here that this guy did not receive the, the reserve price without a winner. So it looks like that one is not going to uh, sell. So for the established sites and also the domains, we didn't talk about the domains. So we have these promoted domains and they have a lot of good domains on here. So if we scroll down right here, a lot of these are expensive, you know, but um, if you're into this, if you're into buying and selling, this is a good place to go. Just but just be very careful uh, when you when you do this, do your research, because I was actually a victim to a scam. In fact, I'll show you guys the, the guy who scammed me. So over here, I think it's under my uh, my bids right here. Yeah, so web hosting time. These guys totally scam me. And in fact, I told uh, Flippa and they didn't do anything. So I wanted to buy this website because I felt that web hosting time is a good website to sort of promote hosting companies, maybe get a commission, right? So I bid on the website and all of a sudden, this guy started to outbid me. After he outbid me, guess what happened? The quote person who was outbidding me offered to sell me the site plus 20 more for $300. And I says, you know what? <laughs> that is a complete scam. You guys basically outbid me on purpose and then counter offered me something two times the price offering other websites. And I told Flippa they didn't do anything. So I was a little upset, but I didn't lose anything. But I'm just telling you guys that people out there do try to you know, screw each other. So when you're doing this kind of business, you have to be very uh, careful. And let's go take a look at their domains, their most active domains. You know, nosmoking.io, you know, decrements.com, um, you know, reactions.net. These are some good domains, you know, reactions.net for only $200. That's a pretty good domain. You know, you're getting a keyword, you know, um, reactions for 27 bids. So that's sort of my rundown guys with uh, Flippa. There are some really cool things about it. Like I said, you can buy some of the starter sites. Just be very careful and do your research. You guys can use um, uh, checkpagerank.net or you can use similarweb.com. You can also do another website where you can check websites backlinks because remember, you're sort of after the traffic and you're after the marketing they have done to the website. So check a website's backlinks right there. And you can use small SEO tools. And this is another website where you can actually uh, enter in a domain and it'll show you some of the backlinks they've done. So if they put in a lot of work to the website and you can get it at a cheap price, why not? You know, in fact, let's go ahead now and see if we can find one and check a look at the backlinks. So your dropshipping.com. Uh, unfortunately, it's been around only for one month, so it's not going to have a lot of marketing to it. We have to take that into consideration, but it is a good domain, you know, and there are some bids on it. But um, I personally don't want to do that. That seems more of uh, an affiliate commission. So let's go ahead and see what else we can find here. Uh, we can also find something like um, this website, one bid, 64 unique visits. Um, campus Snow, 10,000. See, this one right here, I wouldn't even look at it. And if you look at everybody, no one's bidding on it. Um, you know, some of these sites, guys, uh, these guys are just trying to make money. And that's okay, you know. But um, you can also, a very good thing to look at, guys, is the bounce rate. Nobody has a 7% bounce rate. That's impossible. And uh, anyone that claims they have less than a 10% bounce rate with this amount of traffic is a liar. And that, that to me is a scam right away. Like my website, I have around, you know, around a 50% bounce rate. And that's a pretty good bounce rate, you know, 50 to 30%, but a 7% bounce rate? No, that's just not doable. And what a bounce rate is, that's basically saying people that come to your website and they leave right away, that is a bounce rate. So go ahead and take a look at this website, guys, flippa.com. Remember, if you're going to bid on something, make sure you're familiar about it and also go after the marketing they have put into the website. That is a big one that you're after. And also for the domains, lastly, you're after the domain authority. How long has it been on the website? How long like, does it you know, sit on the internet? Because the longer it is, the more domain authority it's gonna have. The odds of it being found in the search engines are more likely than a brand new domain. So uh, take a look at it, guys. If you guys have any questions, I'm actually selling two domains on here, but um, I don't really know what to put it as. You know, I'm actually selling, uh, I'll show you guys, um, quickiesale.com. You guys have probably seen this on one of my tutorials. And, um, you know, I don't know what to sell it for. I put 500 bucks, but it receives around, you know, 300 page views. Yeah, 300 or two, two to 300 page views every month. And that's because I use it in my tutorial. So uh, my traffic is a little bit more genuine and 33%, that makes sense, right? That really makes sense. And right here, the direct, so that means people are basically typing it in. So 
Um, you know, it shows also the countries and I put it that I've put it on my YouTube tutorial. So um, I'm not trying to sell you this domain. Uh, <laughs> I'm really not. I'm just telling you an example. I don't. I still don't know what to sell it as. Maybe I should sell it as, I don't know, 100 bucks. But if it's already getting, you know, 200 to 300 page views a month, it might be worth something. It might be worth like 100 bucks, right? So uh, check out flippa.guys.com. And um, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Like I said, I, I'm kind of looking around too to see if I can, you know, maybe buy a website and uh, check it out, you know, um, maybe people are using premium themes and some of these websites, maybe you wanna snipe a premium theme, you know, maybe they'll sell it to you for 50 bucks, you know, they'll make the website for you and you get a premium theme. So that's another thing to think about. Um, these uh, premium themes cost money. So if they're already in the website, you know, you're basically getting that for free as well. So that's another reason why you might want to um, consider this website. So that's it guys, uh, feel free to take a look uh, let me know what you find, and I'll see you all later.